Good morning. Welcome to day 26 of the 100 days of a mindfulness challenge. Um, today I want to talk about two things. Uh, one thing and then we'll do a morning meditation to start your day with a smile. But I want to talk about the importance of daily practice and I want you to remind you that, that the fruits of mindfulness labour, the seeds that we plant, are definitely well worth all the hard work and the discipline and the effort. And we're now on day 26, so in theory we're just over a quarter of the way through. Um, I'm being told now that we're going to be locked down in the UK till at least May the 7th, so I've got 30 odd days to play with, so we should be okay. I can't go anywhere. But um, please keep in mind that the power of mindfulness, the building of these new neuroplasticity highways, develop through disciplined practice. Okay, That means you may, on times of this 100 days, feel bored, you may feel tired, you may feel some anger or annoyed at times. You listen to some of the guided meditations and, and mindfulness exercises and think, I've done this before. This is happening over and over again. I'm doing this every day. And what I want you to do is to think about these mindfulness practices that it's it's about cultivating and building these new neuro highways, the ones, the habits and the roots that we've already built over how many times you've been on this planet for a year. How many times have you gone completely around the sun? Yeah. But remember that mindfulness isn't about liking the present moment. It's not about feeling good or pleasant or comfortable. It means that you're paying attention to your experiences we're having right here, right now, with no judgment. I said before that the key to a lot of this in the awakening, spiritual awakening, spirituality awakening, is being able to separate the... Um, uh, the mind narrative, the chatter, the fight or flight or whatever's happening, the emotions, the fears, the anxiety, with the actual situation of being able to breathe through it and understanding that these thoughts are real but they're not true and if we actually sit and observe them in awareness and loving kindness, they'll dissipate, they'll run away, they'll move. So, you know, you may even, as I said before, you may experience some doubt about mindfulness. Does this work? And this is all normal and understandable, but the mind typically reacts to uncomfortable practices that take discipline with a sense of agitation, annoyance, or aversion. So your mind now, when you're trying to reprogram it, goes, oh, I don't like this, I'm programmed. Oh, I don't like this, I'm programmed. But we have to understand that we keep programming it because scientifically proven it, it works. So some of the practices that people um, have are more resistant to others and they turn out to be the most effective and powerful for them. So boredom or impatience or frustration need not be a problem. Okay, They're just passing mind states that will come and they will go. Like any or all of our mind states, such as I said, anxiety or sadness or joy or gratitude. So every time you listen to the exercises that we're doing, whether you're out the back garden, out the front garden, laying in your bed, sat in the kitchen, whatever you're doing, or if you're out for a walk, you may find that you're hearing new things, seeing new things, sensing new things, things that you've never seen, heard or sensed before even though obviously you've been doing what you've been doing every day since the beginning of you doing it. So if something you hear or something comes to you or these mindfulness practices, it's good to acknowledge them and understand that, you know, if something catches your ear, listen to it, drop into it, listen to it again. Make sure you absorb everything that's around you and take it into your heart, into your bones, reinforcing the teachings of everything that we've taught before, today, and what we're gonna to do tomorrow so that you integrate mindfulness and your awareness and your loving kindness and your compassion and your love into your daily life. 
and that will improve the chances of you enjoying the practice more because you feel the benefits outweigh you know some of the hard work and effort of being present can help um and specifically in times or situations where things are challenging and i think since you are yourself and never quite the same from one day to the next what you hear and understand may not be that either so all these practices are different doors into the same room and that room is mindfulness awareness in itself so although you might do the body scan one day or the loving kindness another day the feelings the emotions the mind chatter may be different but what we're doing is we're trying to go into the same room and cultivate awareness in itself so I wanted to just have a little chat because there's going to be points of this where you think oh, I can't do it today well, I didn't do it yesterday did I do it? it's 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 just you being human and that's and that's really important and I think you know ultimately um the ability for us to be able to sit in this uh, just drop in and to be with our breath from moment to moment with loving kindness is really important and that importance you know is is very special and and what I would like you to do now the meditation we're going to do at the moment is visualizing your day as you wake up now some of you I appreciate might be doing this before you go to bed but if you are doing it before you go to bed then when you wake up in the morning do it then but I want you just to visualize your day and visualize your day with a smile. Okay. Um, so what I'd like you to do, as always, is I'd like you to just close your eyes. Okay. And as we always do here, I'm going to just put a picture up. And the reason why I click my fingers is I can see on the edit where the picture needs to go. So it's not me being funky. It's just me being practical. Okay. So it's time, if you're just waking up, to rise and shine with a smile. And what I want you to do really, I want you to, uh, if you're gonna do it this morning because you've just woken up or, or, or tomorrow morning, but it doesn't matter. If you're laying in your bed, you can do this, or if you're up and you've got a cup of coffee, you can do this. But I want us to drift from that and float from that sleep state into this awakeness. So if you are laying in your bed, I want you just to relax in your bed and don't worry about getting up right now. Just let my voice flow and soothe you for the next little bit or if you are up and you're sat in a chair then close your eyes and just let my voice flow and soothe you keep your body in a comfy and very cozy position and remain still for the time being now as you close here i just want you to take a deep breath in i want you to hold it for two seconds and just breathe out take a deep breath in Hold it for two seconds and breathe out. And as you do, you feel so very relaxed. But I want you to, if you can, think back um, to any of the dreams or any of the mindfulness states you were just having. Or any thoughts you were having as you woke up. But in particular, our dreams. Because our dreams are very powerful learning tools that help us through some problems and alert us of some of the things we need to work on. If you didn't have a dream last night, then go back to a dream that you can remember. And as you picture that dream back in your mind, remember every detail of the dreams you've had right now. And allow things to come into your mind from these dreams that could be very important messages for your waking life. So what were you just dreaming about? Can you kind of imagine that you're dreaming it again right now? Bring that dream forward. Bring it back into your mind. What you're doing right now is actively dreaming, which will allow you to take information from the unconscious world to your conscious mind. 
So just dream and float. Float and dream. Take the lessons and learn the things you need to learn from this dream. See the things you need to see and hear the things you need to hear. That's good. Now I'm going to count from one to ten and with each number I say you're going to allow your dreams to blend with a picture in your mind of what you want your day today or day ahead to look like one how do you see your day playing out take a deep breath in and let it out Two, what were you just dreaming about? Breathing in and breathing out. Three, what do you want to make happen today? Breathing in and breathing out. Four, and see your day as being very productive. Breathing in and breathing out. Five, see your day as very joyful, breathing in and breathing out. Six, see your day as fulfilled, breathing in and breathing out. See connection to yourself and connection to others, breathing in and breathing out. Eight, see yourself motivated and accomplishing things, breathing in and breathing out. Nine, see and feel yourself smiling both inside and out, breathing in and breathing out. And ten, I want you to take this picture that you've created of this beautiful day in front of you and make it as vivid as possible. See the colours brightly, visualise yourself interacting with others in positive ways, witness yourself fully motivated towards your goals. Make this visualisation as detailed as you possibly can. And allow the day to fully play out in your mind, exactly how you desire it to be. What are you doing? And where are you going? What kind of things do you see? And what kind of folks are you talking with? You're doing really well. Now take a really big, refreshing deep breath in. To set this image into complete stone. And one more deep and full breath for good luck. Breathe out. Now we're going to bring begin a, uh, a movement scan to slowly energize your body to get started for this amazing day that you've created in your mind. So you begin to move your hips slightly from side to side in a rocking motion for a few moments, rocking back side to side. And stop. Wiggle your toes for several seconds allowing the energy, the positive energy, to build around you. And stop. Move your hips again, back and forth, for a little while. Allowing this energy to build. And stop. Now wiggle each of your fingers. 
again feeling the energy building through your hands and stop and back to your hips imagine that you are dancing a little in your sleeping position feel that positive energy now we come back to your hips and wiggle and dance a little bit in bed and just stop just pause for a while and take a huge breath of fresh air and let it go take another deep breath and imagine as you inhale fresh exciting energy is coming in one more fresh exciting energy is coming in and now remember again that picture of your day in your head the one that you created a minute ago vividly see yourself motivated and full of energy seeing yourself smiling accomplishing things with ease another nice breath in and pulling this into you, in this image into your wakeful life as you breathe now wiggle your whole body like you're dancing a little bit while laying down or sat in your chair and you're dancing in your bed before you get up because you're excited about the day ahead the day that you've created moving your whole body and head now in your chair or on the bed while breathing deeply the fresh energizing oxygen and seeing your day play out just as you want it breathing in and breathing out Now you can just stop dancing in your chair or dancing in your bed and prepare to wake up ready to start your day now I'm going to count one more time very rapidly and with each number I say you feel more and more awake excited to make your dreams a reality one two three you see that vision of yourself very clearly four five six breathe in that fresh energy seven eight nine moving and stretching your whole body now waking up your muscles and ten your eyes are now fully open fully awake and ready to tackle the day with a smile i hope you enjoyed that i hope you've got a smile on your face i'm sure you have um it's a beautiful way to start the day <coughs> excuse me and um, it's really interesting as well, is that we want to start your day with a smile. We want it to be positive. But we also understand during that day, things may not go our way. But we're all right with that because we can separate the mental chatter and just look at it and say, yeah, it's OK, it didn't work out. Breathe it in, put the welcome mat out, hold it with loving kindness and watch it dissipate. I hope you enjoyed that today. You've just woken up, so what have you got to do? Put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. Um, have a lovely day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless. Be love and give love. Take care. Look after yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye.